Cracker box ain't a tier one two years. Lamest streamer around, true. All right, we're against Yendel. My flesh will never burn. Oh, let me link stream at everyone. At everyone, Grandmaster Game, go. No. Grandmaster Game. Alright. If I ever something would be to you, thank you, bro. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, Trundle is kind of a hard lane. Wait, my Spotify thing is broken, chat. There we go. I fixed it. Trundle is a little bit hard. I wanted to make sure he didn't get my uh, thing. Feed him. For those of you who don't know, Trundle auto queued the barrel, and I knew he would auto queue it. Cracker Box, thank you for five gifted tier one subs. If Udir ganks top and I die, it's still winning because I have Sheen. But Udir players typically like to full clear, so it's really not a big deal. Wait for Fleet Footwork. Plus 26 health, level 3, everyone. Plus 26 health, level 3. So what am I doing against this Trundle, right? I know that he wants to auto Q reset on my barrel. I'm not going to take the Demolish proc here. So I'm just autoing when I know he's going to auto the barrel when it's at 3. Take back what's mine. <laughs> and now the lane is over. And I'm spacing with Fleet Footwork. Look who got one in that batch. Oh my gosh! Auto Lycus LOL received the tier 1 sub from Quackerbox. Oh my god, what a bicep stiff. Wind Trader? Nope. This is just how things look in higher levels. Seriously. Hey! Get a double passive reset. Focus back on the Udir. Orange. Place a barrel down. Q. Hit the hit this guy for the fleet footwork. Dodge the Jin W. And we're chilling. And my top wave's in a good spot because I crashed the wave. Because I was able to crash as gangplank, I was able to get that. That's up, Raiders. Alois, I hope you had a good stream, brother man. Thank you. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna thin out this wave a lot. Trundle won't be able to crash this wave. He'll try to crash on the next wave, but by then I'll also have a really good reset. If I took one more minion, I could buy Cloak and Boots, but it's fine. I'm just gonna run out of base right now. I'm not even gonna wait for the Cloak. Honest to God, I'm not gonna wait for the Cloak. Yes, I am. I'm waiting for the Cloak. I don't care that he crashes this wave, because what this allows me to do when the wave slow pushes into me, is I get to slow push a wave back into him. 
He'll be level 4, I'll be level 6, and it'll be an easy dive. Easy peasy. But yes, you see chat? Trundle is not a hard matchup. We're playing in Grandmaster. We're playing in Grandmaster. Trundle's not hard if you know how to play against Jax. If you can beat Jax, you'll beat Trundle. That's all it takes. My heart is fire. I mean, if you ask Lois what champion will teach you everything in top lane, he'd probably say Gangplank. And he'd be right, because this champion teaches you how to do everything. It's important to know how to space, important to know how to set up waves, important to know how to... Uh, how you can loot, like, everything, actually. Gangplank's one of the few champions in top lane where you can be 3-0 and still get solo killed by your own 5 laner. That's not a very common thing that happens. So it's like, at, what, at that point, why the fuck am I playing Gangplank? So you could get the funny synapse highlights, that's why. So watch this, same thing with the trundle, pay attention. Hey, will he auto kill my barrel, or is he scarred? It's actually good that I didn't even get that auto off on him. My pass is up in 10 seconds, that's when he dies. I just have to queue him when he keeps going for these, uh, minions. He'll be level 5, which is fine. So what I'm gonna do is, I want to kill these minions normally, right? I kill these minions normally, and then I'm gonna place a barrel right on top of him. We're gonna place a barrel right on top of him. Ignore your jungler because he's a terrible person. Watch. Boom. And that's a kill. If I trade one for one, it's worth because the wave slow pushes into me. I'm not freaking out. I'm fine. I'll try to get another fleet proc. Trying to get another fleet proc. Slowing your deer potentially. He's out. We're out. We're out. We're all out. Don't get comfortable in my absence. If he ignores the pillar, if he places the pillar, better do you die there? As far as I know, there's a certain point with Trundle's pillar where you can actually orange the slow, so it's not a consistent slow. Um, that being said, I feel as though I would live, but even if I died, it's still a winning scenario for me because it's a gold reset. Levels at this point don't matter. When you're playing against Gangplank, um, if he has a lot of gold, like, we're at a point, sorry, where, like, even if he gets my shutdown, right, 600 gold, he doesn't get anything meaningful with that. I always get Essence Reaver, whereas he will get his Spear, Hearthbone Axe, and, like, a Kindle Gem. So I have a full completed item while this guy has nothing. This guy has nothing to his name. He is poor. Capitalism? Yes, actually capitalism. True. And now he's tilted, so he's going to roam and this game is over. But to make sure the game is over and that... So sometimes what happens in high elo games is a lot of players don't know how to play when they get a lead. And this happens in lower elo too, right? Players don't know what to do when they get a lead. The score will be like 15 kills to zero at eight minutes and the team with 15 kills still loses. Why does that happen? Because player, a lot of players don't know how to play with the lead. He already used his pillar, if I'm not mistaken. We'll trade an auto here. If he wants to trade an auto for a passive, I'm down to crack his skull open. We at least clear the wave. We want this wave to crash, so I'm going to leave this minion here. Ah, uh, never mind. The minion absolutely hates my guts. Same thing. Place a barrel down. Win-win scenario for us. He's going to want to ult us soon. Don't give him the range yet. We're chilling. If you auto attack a turret with fleet, you actually get the full amount of healing, which is absolutely disgusting. Also, Alois, if you're still here, I don't know if you're still here. If you're still here, do an unranked to unranked to masters on gangplank now. Do an unranked to masters gangplank now. So if you feel like you the prime six months in a row. It's easier to come back than it is to lead. Um, it depends on where your lead was gained, right? If you get a lead at like the 15 minute mark, you can easily translate that into Baron, right? But if you get that lead, 
at two minutes into the game, chances are you'll probably throw it. Oops. He'd probably prefer GP to Aurelia. Chat, how is his Aurelia? Because I haven't, I, I've, I've seen that he's doing unranked to masters on Aurelia, but I haven't actually uh, checked out his. How is his Aurelia on a scale of one to ten? Where ten is a rel king, ten is a rel king, and one is your solo queue Aurelia teammate that runs it down. No, one is not solar bot. No, no, no. I wanted to make sure I got the turret. That was my main goal there. I'm far from done kidding. On par with Bao Sorelia, 7 to 8? He's a 7? That's pretty good. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you say he's better than Bao's Aurelia? Mechanically. I'm not talking about macro. I know he has the macro, right? I know he has. But mechanically, is he better or worse than Bao's Aurelia? Better or worse? Seriously, better or worse than Bowser's Aurelia? Mechanically. Bowser's Aurelia is not even the same champ. It's how they interact. Aurel King wishes they were Bowser. He's very decent on it, but harder to, to relatively to carry bad teammates. I agree. That's one of the things, right? So, most challenger players can still reach like at least masters grandmaster playing any other champion in the game in that same role right if you're a challenger top laner and one champ you could probably reach at least masters grandmaster and any other top lane champ it's just a matter of putting time into it because anybody can do good in lane but being able to carry is another thing right if you know the fundamentals and stuff obviously like he knows right then you can uh okay what's happening here okay, never mind. What's this guy doing? <laughs> this guy's GM, by the way. Anyways, what I was saying is, you have to get the, like the only way you can be good at that is experience. That is that is something that it, you cannot teach to a person, like how to play out certain team fights. Like you can introduce them concepts, right? Like if I tell you to play setup barrels in a fight, you know what that means? It means to place a barrel anywhere. Who gives a shit if you miss it? It's the fact that you have a barrel ready to fight. But being able to like capitalize off that, you need experience. Alright. A turned back deserves a knife. Alright, let's do this. Yo, this is that song from Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite character. Chat, how crazy is it that there are people, right, who will say that their favorite character is like Naruto or Goku from Fortnite? Isn't that crazy that there are people who genuinely believe those characters are from Fortnite? That's that's like fucking aware. That is aware. Bowers. Oh shit. My favorite rapper is Eminem from Fortnite, you know? An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. More Don't get comfortable in my absence. Classic dodge pattern, you know. I'm trying to play relative to Jin's vision. 
Jin's ulti gives him vision. It doesn't give him a lot of vision, but it does give him some vision. So your first dodge is a gamble. Honestly, whether he hits you or not is completely a gamble. There's no way you can actually dodge. But uh, when I was walking here, I assume he thought I would run to my turret, so I walked down. Then he sees that I walked down, so he's going to aim down, so I, I walk up or I commit to down. Are you playing unlock cam all the time? No, I unlock it. I would say that I do unlock it. It's just a matter of what's going on. I'll hack my way back to Biltwater. 